what's going on purchase my name is Pochi402 and welcome back to another YouTube video today I'm going to be showing you how to get animated textures in Minecraft so basically this block is diamond ore and I use it for like say if you're mining for example uh, I'm, I'm mining and there's some diamonds here and I it's, it's really dark in the caves that I'm mining in and I can't see where I'm going now I can't see anything down in the rest of the mine, and I'm kind of getting stuck. Uh, I can't really see, and then I'm just like, oh, oh, what is that? What is that block? Wait, let me just do that again. So I'm kind of just mining, and then I just see, like, oh, in real Minecraft, you wouldn't see these as diamonds because they're so, like, dark. And um, I think this really helps out, but you can actually use diamonds for anything. You can really make anything with these animated textures. And I am actually using, oops. May have just made a mistake. I will be right back when I'm back in my world. Yeah, that was kind of... So you can see, guys, I'm back in my world. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to get these diamond door textures. I'm actually in my resource pack, uh, the one that I made. It's a faithful edit. Uh, but most of the textures are made by me. See, uh, diamond sword's red. The wool is more blocky. You can see that. See that there. Um, also, obviously, the diamond doors change. The stained clay looks a lot different to before. It's more of a solid colour now. You can see the red looks more kind of crimson, more than like kind of blocky. Blue's more like dark blue. So yeah. Um I'm gonna be showing you how to get these textures. And I'll be back when I I'm on my desktop and I'm ready to you know, show you the textures. So as you can see guys, I'm on my desktop now and uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to get to your textures. And I'm sorry if my desktop looks a bit messy, it is a bit of the, at the minute and um yeah i'm going to be showing you how to get them textures so i'm actually going to be editing one of my resource packs now don't end the video here i will be doing well you can end the video here if you want to do a classic resource pack but you need we need to get to at least 10 likes and a couple of comments saying what we would like to do next um so another resource pack maybe an item uh, but this is just going to be a block today, and also it's going to be uh, a resource pack that's made by me and that isn't the default one. But if you want the default one, let's try and smash 10 likes today, guys, and a couple of comments saying what we, what we would like next. So let's get straight into it. Now, if you're in, like, a Windows like me, um, you're probably going to want to get to your app data folder, unless you have your .minecraft on your desktop, which is completely fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to write this three ways to do this you can right click your windows 8 thing or you can left click your windows 7 thing so just right click this and you'll find run click on it and inside you're going to want to type in app percent app data percent oops that's a dollar sign and just click ok and it will open up your dot minecraft folder now you're going to want to find this folder here this dot minecraft you're going to left click Go to resource packs, and here's all of your resource packs that you've downloaded or made. Uh, See, so I've already made a copy of one that we're going to be using today. Uh, I'm actually going to delete that just quickly because I don't know whether I've edited it, or edited it or not. And I'll be right back when all this is. So, guys, we are back, and you see I made a copy. And um, if we left click this copy, you see I made it the copy of my last texture, which was my old jackpack. So it's going to be the diamonds, the same, but we're going to change the sponge. Uh, uh, maybe not the sponge, let's just change another thing. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and go to our resource packs. Jackpack. Go to assets. Minecraft. And here's where it gets tricky. You need to follow what I do. Go to textures. Blocks. That's all you need to do. I'll do that again just in case I was too fast. Textures. Then blocks the top here. If you want to go to an item, just go down here and click items. But we're going we're gonna to do a block today. Now you can see... Um, you can see my diamonds look a bit strange. And I'll be getting to that in a minute. So let's go to our sponge. We, act we actually are going to do sponge. And left click the sponge. And zoom in. And you see the sponge looks a bit kind of pixelated. But that's okay. That's, that's in Minecraft. That's what it does in Minecraft. Let's jump out here quickly. Right click this. Hit properties. And um, I think this is pretty much the same on... Um, I think this is pretty much the same on all devices. I'm not 100% sure. I think this is all the same on Apple as well. So go to details, or it may be on your general. Mine's not in general, I don't think. 
think at least. Go to details and you'll see width and height, 32 pixels. So what you're going to do is you're going to go OK, left click it, and you see well, here's our sponge. Now, before we get all excited, all we need to do is turn our hardness to 100. Just, 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 just trust me there. Go to file, new, and because it was 32 by 32, we're going to do the first one as 32. And then just jump out your calculator quickly. You may be able to do it in your head, but I can't really do that in my head at the minute. So type in 32, which is our width, and then however many animations you want it to be. So if it's water, I may put the water file on the screen in a minute. Um, but the water is basically just a long line of pictures, uh, which makes it look like it's flowing. Um, geez, I've got a bit of gas. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so 32, um, we want to make it maybe, let's say, 4, no, we want it to go through nice and fast, so let's do 4, so we're going to do 32 times 4, which is obviously 128, and then you just type in into the 600, or whatever it can be for you, 128. Now, you can use Photoshop or anything else for this, but I'm using Paint.net because it's free, it's good, go and get it in the description. My uh, profile picture was made by Paint.net, so just go ahead and get it. Uh, and here's my sponge file, so you're just going to want to copy paste this and put it in here. Now make sure your sponge, just drag it out the screen from it like that, and then push it all the way until it kind of locks. It, it, it can go other ways, but just make sure there's no white left on the screen. Now go up, lock it in, zoom in, scroll up, zoom out. Make sure it's perfectly in there, right? Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to press F, or well, we're gonna do we're gonna be doing a spinning animation. Uh, put in the comments if you want me to do the rainbow animation like I did with my diamonds. But so here's the sponge. We're basically gonna go move selected pixels, and we're gonna move it up like we did, and then we're going to um we're gonna leave this like this one, and then we're gonna go c zoom out again. Control V, put this down a bit, but then instead of just doing the same thing, we're actually gonna go on the side of it and rotate it. Just like that. Make sure it's nice and aligned with the other file, like that. And you see it looks... Eh, it looks a bit different, I suppose. Yeah, that looks okay. Now we're going to go Control v again. Drag this one down to the next one. And make sure it's aligned again. Do the rotating until it's all the way around. Like No, 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 no. Upside down, I think is the next one. Zoom in a bit because you want to get it nice and nice and perfect. Do the same again. Oops, I just think I deleted it. No, I didn't. Right, now go down again and then rotate it. Oh no, I rotated it on the wrong axis. I want it to, I want it to rotate on this axis. Nope. I'll just delete this one because this one didn't obviously work out. Oh, I may have just... Um, that is bad. I did not want to do this. Paste. Right. Can now we got this one, drag it all the way down and rotate it other ways. Like that. Zoom in to make sure it's on the right axes. And you see, there we have it. That's how we do it. Now you see we have four items here that are all rotated different ways. If you want this to look a bit better, this is one way I'm gonna do it. I'm not actually gonna be doing this. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna be making a kind of like a smiley face going up and down on the sponges as well as them rotating. So we're gonna go ahead and choose black. Uh let's get our paintbrush out. Uh that's not a paintbrush, a paintbrush. And we're gonna go ahead and do a smiley face on each one. Why isn't it not doing that? Oh, it's because I'm selecting that. There's a little eye. Little thing. Go like. Ah! <laughs> um, and do another one. This is just basically a quick tutorial on showing you what you can do. So then when we load this up in uh, Minecraft, it's actually going to have his mouth opening and closing. I'm not the best drawer. As you can see, my profile picture is not the best. But I'm just showing you what I, you can do with this. Control save, desktop. Now rename this to sponge. And then it, it will save as a PNG automatically. Just, so just click save. Okay. And then go out. And then delete the sponge that you've typed into your search bar. Or maybe you haven't. And drag in sponge. Click replace file. Now you've replaced it. Uh, if, we, uh, if we go into Minecraft, which we're not going to do right now. It will be a purple block. 
and you're probably thinking, Jack, why is it a purple block? That's because um, it's not fully textured yet. And it, it's just, it's basically ro rolling through a massive file. So scroll to the bottom of your uh, blocks list, left click water flow, right click it, then click copy, and then drag it to your desktop. Paste it, left click it, and type into the water flow blocks, sponge dot png and it should be mc meta on the end so it should look like this sponge dot png sponge dot png dot mc meta drag that in and it won't replace anything because it's not a new block and i'll get back to you guys once we're in hi guys we're back in our world and you can see all the textures are loading again just reload the chunks here we go and you see we are in our uh in our little world and you see that we're on our old texture packs let's change it back to the copy and you can see with the jackpack, um, it's the exact same. All the textures are the same. And you you saw it. You did see it. Don't don't lie. It so obviously the diamond door is the same. All the blocks are the same. But obviously we changed the sponge. So now you can kind of see how it looks. Um, obviously I didn't do the best job of it because I was only doing really quick. But you can see it scrolling through the textures. You can see this here. And uh, it's just basically scrolling through all the textures. Now, you can actually use this to creep someone out. You can have, like, uh, maybe Jeff the Killer, like, jumping out of a, a sponge block. And, like, he being like, oh, what is this? This, this text pack is so, so scary. He turns it off and it's like a sponge block, like, saying troll on it or something. Maybe a mod. Um, but I can see how many little things you can use this for. This is intense. This is so good. Um, Anime textures came in 1.8, if any of you are wondering. Uh, so this can be used in 1.8 above. Oh no, 1.5 above. Sorry. So you can literally do this in a couple of different, um, a couple of different types of modes. And what's funny is you can like tell your friend like, oh yeah, this smiley face block can be extinguished with, um, can be extinguished with water and then place wa water down because, of course, it's sponge. It changes it to like a wet sponge and then be like, oh, you trolled me or something. So I can see how many different things you can use this for. And it's so funny. Uh, having to look at these textures so thank you everybody for watching i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make animated textures in minecraft if you did make sure to smash that like button let's see if we can get to hmm, 10 likes today probably a good mark for this because this isn't the best tutorial but at least it's showing you guys how to make something but that just looks so derpy over there <laughs> anyway <laughs> thank you guys for watching Make sure to smash that like button. Let's see if we can get to 10 likes today. Leave a comment. Tell me, tell me what you think about it. Subscribe for more tutorials and um, videos on my channel. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.